All right, Darlington, Pennsylvania, and the East Palestine train wreck. This is only if you're in Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, not only can you hold Norfolk Southern accountable, you can also hold the state of Pennsylvania, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania accountable. Okay. If you go to the Constitution and you go back to Article 1, Section 27, Natural Resource and Public Estate. The people have a right to clean air, pure water, and to the preservation of natural, scenic, historic, aesthetical values of the environment. Pennsylvania's public natural resources are common property of all people, including generations yet to come. As trustee of these resources, the Commonwealth shall conserve and maintain them for the benefit of all people. Okay, the Commonwealth has a constitutional responsibility to protect your air and water. Okay, so don't only hold the railroad accountable, hold the state accountable. Because Josh Shapiro ain't doing nothing. Actually, he supported them burning them chemicals. Okay, I don't know how Ohio's constitution is. I would have to look that up. Or uh, you all can look it up. But in, in Pennsylvania, for Darlington, yeah, you need to hold the state accountable too. They have a constitutional responsibility to protect the air and the water you breathe. And if you're looking at any of my videos, that was the issue I raised with all the ATV videos. It created dust to the point you couldn't even breathe. So I know how Darlington feels. I know how East Palestine feels. You have the government letting all that stuff happen. So I'm not trying to get off track here, but yes, hold the Commonwealth accountable. Specifically, the governor, Josh Shapiro, accountable. If you go back, you can see a video that was put out by Josh Shapiro when he was Attorney General stating his hatred for anybody who didn't support the Democrats. I'll put that, I'll also post that video on my channel because that's sick. So Yes. Y'all need to hold Pennsylvania accountable. Have a nice day, folks. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Your response to this lawsuit seemed to garner more reaction and coverage than the lawsuit itself. The, the lawsuit was seemed to be recognized as being ludicrous and foolish. Republican, your Republican counterpart in, in Georgia, I think called it you know, morally and, and legally dubious. Why do you yeah. think 126 Republican members of Congress signed on to its mission? Well, first off, maybe my brief should have been much shorter and just said over my dead body because that really does sum up how I feel <laughs> and uh, <laughs> how hard I'm going to work to protect the will of the people of Pennsylvania. You know, look, um, it, it's actually uh, unbelievable that 17 other attorneys general and 120 some uh, members of Congress who swore an oath to the Constitution of the United States would instead act as though they've sworn an oath to Donald Trump. There is no legal basis for uh, this lawsuit that Texas has filed. Um, it is without merit. It is procedurally flawed. Uh, and it is ludicrous, as you said. And the fact that so many Republicans have gone along with it speaks volumes not about the, the legal filing uh, from Texas, but about the problems in the Republican Party and, frankly, the problems with the, the character of those individuals who have signed on to this. I, I said the other day, and I'll repeat, I don't know if they need a surgeon to repair their spines or a psychiatrist to examine their heads, but something is wrong with these people that they are willing to follow Donald Trump as far as he is trying to take them.